Hey, I'm Chad Thielen, and this is um, assembly of a miter fold countertop with about a four inch return underneath. So here we've got our blank. This is fresh off our CNC. And we're gonna take our, our type on wood glue. We're gonna get it right in the valley of this here um, profile. So we're gonna lather this up pretty good. And it's gonna, it's gonna squirt out pretty decently. Now, when we, when we fold this and then come back, you can see like how much our glue spread. So it's really probably not terribly necessary to get overly concerned about coverage and stuff as when you do this number and kind of hold it for just a moment, you can just see how like evenly all that spreads just absolutely perfectly. And so because we've got this program kind of dialed in at the return area of the countertop, you can see on this other side how all of this geometry is going to like come together in a certain certain way so we're just gonna we're gonna make sure that we glue everything the same on the first side as we did uh, excuse me the second side as we did the first side and then you know you might have where like here we've got this little return piece and you know we're just gonna use our finger and spread this kind of about a little bit again it's not terribly important from what I understand you'll notice that our miters are pre-taped um, this is done prior to the CNC making any cuts on the panel we take some tick marks and then what we used was a piece of four inch wide uh, just El Cheapo clear packing tape because it's got a little bit of stretch to it that helps aid in the clamping process pretty good um, as my good friend Gus will tell, sometimes you've got a return that's on a third side or a fourth side. Don't forget to glue the second side of your last one where they come together. Once it goes together, it really can't come apart once it dries. So, so here we go with the last fold, and um, Matt will show the camera view of the glue squeeze out <laughs> pretty nicely. So there we go. So again, I just go nice and slow. A little bit of glue up there to hold that piece down. And then here's what we got at the end of the end of the day. So press that together and you know you can see once I get some packing tape on there, that's gonna that's gonna work out real nice. Go ahead and stretch that together, press it down as best I can, and that's really about all that's gonna be needed. Yeah, it's pretty important to get the tape off in the same day we found. Um, this is a very low tack tape. We found that it works exceptionally well because it doesn't take a lot of wood fibers out with it. So we'll look at our finished product now. You can see how we experienced no glue squeeze out on this mitered edge. We left about 12 thousandths of material underneath the V-bit. So whether this was, we've done this on wood grain quite a bit. And if you take a metal tool with some rounded edges on one side, you can kind of massage this and roll the wood fibers over. And now this here miter had a cut in it, so of course we got some glue squeeze out, but we don't have any glue squeeze out. You can imagine if you had wood grain on here, how bad it would be to, to have to sand off a whole bunch of glue that was smeared in kind of like, like that there, you know? So by having that 12 thousandths of an inch, not only does it allow everything to fold really nicely, but it prevents the glue from squeezing out, which is super important on those wood grains. You just don't have a whole lot of thickness to work with to begin with. And we found that this process, it needs to be kind of very particular on how you set it up. Don't cut any corners. Make sure everything is perfectly good to go at any sign of um, issues is going to be because the preparation was not quite right. So that's how we take care of uh, miter fold things around, around here. So thanks for watching.